Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to talk a little bit about Cyberball 2072. Uh, this is an old XBLA arcade game from like 2007, and it's a port of an old arcade game from the 80s. Uh, basically, it's American football played by robots, and there is one achievement in this game called Super Breaker that is really, really difficult. Um, I would say it's beyond unfair in what is expected of you. Um, I've been practicing here for a couple of weeks now, uh, which I've done on a handful of occasions over the years in the hopes of someday f acquiring the skill and the knowledge needed to, uh, to earn this achievement, which as you can see there is for completing all 10 pages in Game Breakers. Um, so let me explain a little bit about this game and a little bit about this achievement. Uh, as I said, this game is uh, basically American football played by two teams of robots, giant robots. And... Uh, Rather than having a, um, a series of downs where you try to advance the ball forward a certain distance in order to continue your progress to attempt to score, uh, this game uh, also gives you a series of, of downs or plays um, in which you will need to reach the halfway point of the field and then which you would, uh, in which you would need to reach the end zone to score a touchdown. Um, over the course of these plays, the ball goes from cool, warm, hot, critical, and then if you don't diffuse it by reaching your target, uh, the ball explodes and, uh, you, and you turn it over. So there's pass plays, there's running plays, there's, you know, offense and defense. There's a whole, you know, it's, it's just football. Um, and that's for the, the basic standard game, which most of the achievements are tied to. Um, but the Super Breaker achievement requires playing the um, Game Breakers game mode. Now in this game mode, you pick one of, your, one of the six teams. Um, I choose the team that has a strong running game uh, because you're primarily running running plays. And then there's 10 pages of, uh, you know, six or eight plays where you have to complete several of them in order to advance to the next page. So in the case of this play, I have to score a touchdown. Now the ball starts on this play warm. And I could have scored there, but I'm going to stop and I'll explain that in a second. Now the ball is hot. So I'm going to take another chance here and try to score. And uh, I'm not going to score here on purpose again. I'll explain that in a moment. And then the ball will be critical. And if I don't score when it's critical, I fail. Um, now, the reason I'm getting tackled is that there is an upgrade system that makes your players better. And for completing plays successfully, you earn money that you can spend on upgrading your players, but in order to be able to upgrade your player, they have to have been tackled three times without exploding in a failure. Once they're tackled three times, they start smoking, and you can then pay money to upgrade them. Once they're upgraded, they're much faster. And so the, my goal, which I've kind of figured out the optimal way to do it, is to get my, my running back upgraded so he is considerably faster. And the, the, the vast bulk of your plays are involve the running back. Passing in this game is almost impossible. It's very difficult. I don't even bother trying 99% of the time. Now, there are some occasions when passing works, um, but it's just so hard to successfully pass the ball based on the, the way the plays are laid out and everything else. Um, defensive plays are also next to impossible. You have an option of one or two defensive plays on every clipboard page. The problem you run into is you can only cover one side of the field. If you cover the left side of the field, the, uh, the computer's going to go to the right side of the field and score. If you cover the right side of the field, the computer's going to go to the left side of the field and score. Um, I found success in defensive plays about 10 to 20 percent of the time, which is just horrible. Um, you can get three failures and then you get game over. Once you get game over, uh, you can continue. You get two continues. Now, I am actually, I lied to you, I'm going to do one defensive play on this page just because it's pretty much an auto-succeed. The, the, the computer is so far back that they can't score a touchdown there. And that's just basically a free $10,000 for, for an upgrade I need to do. Um, but yeah, defensive plays are by and large impossible. And um, here you can see my primary running back is smoking. He's about to explode. I'm going to score with him here. If I had gotten tackled, he would start smoking a little more and be on fire. And then if I got tackled again, he would explode and he would basically be reset in his damage process. Um, so I don't want, didn't want that to happen. So now here's what's going to happen. On this play, 
I'm going to give it to probably him. No, actually the, the, the secondary running back who's the one on the left. I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to intentionally get tackled. And now when I go into my play option, there I have the option to upgrade the primary running back to Titanium. He is now very fast, and he will be noticeably faster. But the problem we, we're going to run into is that the plays don't indicate to you when there's two running backs on the field, which is the primary and which is the secondary. Um, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to hand off the ball. And again, controls in this game are pretty wonky. And I'm trying to kind of talk and play at the same time. But um, you can only upgrade one player per position also. So if I get my secondary running back damaged to where he's smoking and then I repair him, he would become a titanium secondary running back and my primary running back would be reset to the basic running back that he is at the start of the game. So another layer of difficulty is knowing which of these two players, which of these two running backs are my primary running back. Well, just through trial and error, I found out it's one on the left, which in that scenario was the ideal use since there was a linebacker blitzing on the right side of that previous play anyway. So, um, let me talk about passing real quick. You can see the little target in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. That's where the, uh, the running back's going to head to. And again, passing is just so difficult that I really don't even bother with it. Running is key, and you're running against essentially a different defense in every play, so it's very difficult to plan how to do things. That was close. Um, but you can see it's getting a little more difficult as, uh, as we work through page two here. And the difficulty only increases as we progress through a series of plays to where once you get to like page five or six, honestly, no matter what I do, it starts to really feel like a series of coin flips on every play at best. Um, I think I'm going to go here with this stunner secondary play. Now I'm going to fail here, probably. It's very unlikely I'm going to score. Oh, that was close. I got it. Okay. Now you see, that was my fast running back, and he barely squeaked by. If he was slightly slower, he would have gotten tackled, and it would have been bad. Now we're on to page three. Again, it's a little bit more of the same. Now I would love to upgrade the wide receiver. So I'm going to try to throw to this wide receiver on the left and get tackled without scoring. This way he can take some damage, but the computer blitzed me, which, again, the defensive play they put forward is kind of random. Um, I'm going to go juice. Now, something else to, to take note of is that tight end on the far left of my formation, that'll prevent a blitz from coming on the left-hand side. The computer will only ever blitz um, on a weak side of your formation if there's nobody uh, sort of next to the line, if that makes any sense. Um, so now for this play, Frenzy, I'll score on pretty much every time. I'm going to go hand off to that wide receiver on the left as he kind of makes his pattern into me. And then jet out to the end. Now these plays that you're offered, the first play of each sequence, are always the same. Now, I would love to hand it to that wide receiver as he runs left to right, but their safety is going to blitz in on the left-hand side and force me. This happens every time. Force me to go with my running back, which worked out for me that time. Now, the defense sometimes will line up differently, and you can't guarantee on that working every time. So, I mean, what I'm trying to do is record these as I play and take note of how the defense lines up and try to figure out what the best plan to put forward is. Blitzing on the right, I'm going to go left delayed handoff. That's my fast running back. He's able to get in. Again, it looks honestly very simple so far. And we're through to page four with, with no problems. I've got the fast running back. Everything's going good. Problem is it's going to start getting a lot harder. So for this play, for example, wrench. I don't even have a running back. I've got two tight ends and a power back that are slower than molasses. So I'm just going to kind of run it with the quarterback and try to get up as close as I can and hope that I can do a running play. I'll go ahead and upgrade my quarterback now, he'll be a little faster. But I'm gonna hope that there's a, a running play, and I'm not sure on some of those running plays which, as many times as I've played, I don't know which running back is the fast running back. So I'm gonna kinda swing around here to the receiver, and look at that, touchdown. Now again, these plays that I'm having a lot of success on, 
pretty simple in the big scheme of things. This play never works for me, so I don't like to do it, and I don't need to. And again, based on the money structure and the ante on each page, you don't have to do every play. You have a little bit of leeway in terms of which plays you want to do. Blitzing on the right, I'm going to go left. And again, it looks easy. And if it, if it stayed this easy for the rest of the 10 pages, it still would be pretty difficult, but doable. But we're going to get to the point where, rather than being a third of the way field-wise from the end zone, I'm beyond the midway line, and I get one chance at it. I'm going to take the sweep back to the right. I'm going to hand to the, the running back on the left, and hopefully be able to get through. And, and again... Had the defense lined up differently and covered the right side of the field better, I probably wouldn't have made it. So I need $30,000 to move to the next page, so this Rattlesnake play won't even help me because I would still need to do one of these two plays. Razzle Dazzle is critical, giving me only one chance, so I go with Backlash, which is only hot, so I would get a second play, a second attempt. Another thing is... I'm not going to make it. Um... You have a limited amount of gas per play, and in a, you know if that wasn't the case, I could kind of run around the field and use my speed and outrun a lot of the defense, but that's just not an option. On the left hash mark, I'm going to try to go right. Nope, and I didn't get it. And even if I would have gotten around that little uh, lineman, it looks like the safety was up there ready to get me. So that was just really a no chance situation same play I'll try it again and they were in on me I probably should have handed it off sooner try to delay the handoff hoping that that would uh, juke out the defense a little bit everybody's going left here hopefully I'm gonna try to hand it to the uh, wide receiver as he comes by Nope. And I didn't tilt it upfield quick enough. I tried to get as close to the sideline as I could to get around the defense. I went out of bounds and I blew up. So you can see very quickly how now we're only on page four and I'm failing plays multiple times. Sometimes it's possible that you can do a little juke like I tried to there and break through. I'm going to try Easy Rider. I'm going to try running out left with my receiver. But my quarterback got in the way, and that was just terrible. <laughs> so full disclosure, I usually get to page 5 without any hang-ups, and I've just now had three failures on this play. is pretty much a dead run, but um, keep going with it. I got the corner blitz. Look at that, and now, again, I did nothing different, but the defense was just chosen differently by the computer, and it gave me an opening to get through to the end zone. Here you're on page 5. It's going to start getting very difficult on page 5. I have to do this filler play, or a defensive play, and filler, of course, is critical ball, which means I have one shot. Purple line is midfield, so I have to score from here on one shot best way I've found to do it is like this and you see I made it around them and the defensive players get like a, a single turbo boost there's really nothing I could have done any differently there so I've experimented with this play a hundred times and the running backs just don't work it's the best success I've found is with the the wide receiver coming around look at now look how much more room I have there and look at that he's still caught up to me so, I mean, there's just nothing I could have done there. Now, had I gotten my uh, wide receiver tackled a couple of times and um, upgraded him to titanium so he was faster, it might have mattered, and I'm actually pretty sure it would have, and I was, uh, I was not diligent to get him tackled by doing pass plays or whatever. 
which is probably what I actually need to do in order to have any success. But again, there's five more pages. I'm at the beginning of page five. I'm on my last continue. And sometimes this just works, but most of the time it doesn't. The other plays on page 5, you have multiple chances, so they're much more doable, but it's like, why bother wasting time struggling with them if I'm just going to fail on this anyway? I barely made it. Now, if I had done that first try, which, flip the coin enough times, you'll get the run where you get that done first try, then maybe you have a chance to, to make a deep run. So I'm going to go left with my running back, blitzing on the right anyway. That was uh, executed very poorly. So just for, just for whatever, I'm going to show you a pass play. So the problem with the pass play is these, I have to get in the end zone. But these plays, like normal football, aren't designed as Hail Marys to get you in the end zone. They're designed just to make some progress. And get uh, and get some, but I can't throw in the middle of the field and get tackled. So I, it's just it's so bad. And you see, he kind of lobbed it up in the air. My guy, you know, it's just it's a nightmare. The computer bumps you. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't think so. I gave it faster that time, which is what you need to do with this play. Give it faster and go. So the keys to this obviously are getting your players upgraded, your running back and your wide receiver. And, uh, and getting some luck with defenses, figuring out what works, um, understanding, hey, if the defense is lined up a certain way, it's probably not going to work anyway. And I've never even seen um, page 9 or 10, which, from what I understand, they're just very difficult. If I was a little faster there, I probably would have made it. So again, I'm going to have to kind of figure out the best way to uh, to get um, the wide receiver upgraded. But then the problem you end up happening is if there's two wide receivers on a play, it's only through trial and error that you can maybe figure out which one is wide receiver one and which one is wide receiver two. Because with the running backs and the wide receivers, when there's only one of them on the field at a given time, it's the... Uh, it's the primary or the number one wide receiver or running back. But when there's two, they line up alternating left and right. You don't know which is which. That's a slow running back, but he made it. That was running back number two. I'm gonna, so I'm going to have to make a note of that. That on that play, running back two, the secondary running back, lines up on the right-hand side. I have a page of notes here with all these sort of things. So, so for Rocket, run right, give to running back on right. Running back on right is the primary running back. But the, the defense beat me over there, so there was nothing I can do. Now that I'm on the right side of the screen, I'm looking to come back to the left. So I'm going to do um, canned heat. Canned heat left running back is running back number one. So I've got room on the left side. I'm going to follow him to the left, hand it to him, and there we go. So on to page six. Now look at this. First three plays on page six, you start critical. You have to do one of those. Expressway I usually don't have a problem with where you hand off to a wide receiver. Again, if I had upgraded the wide receivers, I'm not sure which one is the primary or the secondary here. But they're pretty quick, so that play usually works. Now we can skip down to canned heat. For canned heat, my note says left running back, run left. So obviously the left running back is the fast one. I try to do a delayed handoff to him. See if I can get around and I can't. So now that I'm over on the left hand side, I'm gonna try to do something to the right. So I'm gonna do high voltage. I thought about doing the bottom right play and 
hand into the wide receiver, but if I had gotten blitzed, it wouldn't have worked. And look at that. I, got, I beat that guy, and he turboed and got me in a yard from the end zone. There's really not much I can do there. If I had gotten closer to the sideline, I might have gotten a, you know, a slight lead on him and, and gotten in, but... <laughs> he tackled me at the one yard, at the half yard line. Now, when you're this close, a quarterback sneak pretty much always works. Although there are times when everybody charges into you and you don't make it, but most of the time it works when you're that close. And that's what I end up doing in the early pages when I'm trying to get tackled for upgrades. Uh, can of corn, I think, is a go left. Can of corn. Nope, we're going to go right. Now, I could try to pass out to the left. This actually is a pass play that will sometimes work. <laughs> and he, he threw it to the tight end, which was garbage. So, uh, do I have anywhere? So, here's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to do come and go. The wide receiver is going to come to me as part of his pattern on the right. And I'm going to give it to him and then try to go all the way around to the left. And it worked. It barely worked. So I need to do two more plays. Now these are both critical and they're crappy. Fender Bender and, and uh, Sweetness give me two chances. And again, we're gonna go left, hand off. I did a little juke there which kind of worked, but then the linebacker came fast. Now what I want to do is go right. Um, looks like we're doing cross up. Wide angle, left it open on the right. I know the left running back here is the fast one. So I'm going to come around this way, give to him, and hope to turn the corner and get in. <laughs> and I did. Now again, that's one of those plays that you might do that ten times and it might work twice. Or three times. You just never know. Fender bender. Gonna hand it right and run right. Oh, I turned the corner a second too late, otherwise I might have gotten it. So let's see, I want to go over to the left. I'm gonna try this. It's probably not gonna work. I'm gonna try to hand off to this receiver coming my way now. Come around here and juke back. Again, that's one of those things that you might try that exact same thing ten times and it might work twice, once. Here we are on page seven. Honestly, I've only been to page seven a few times, so I'm not really sure what my best options are. There's two plays that are not critical, and those are the ones you always want to start with, so you have two chances. He's going to come back this way, and I got nowhere. We'll go Assault Wave, we'll try to, we got some decoys over there, and we'll try to run left with the running back and hand off to him. Oh look, the defense just drops back. They're not scared. Maybe I needed to cut it at an angle in towards the center there at the end, maybe he wouldn't have gotten me, but I just was hoping for the best. We'll try that once more. He's going to go over to the left, and he's going to come back. Did a little better that time, but we're in the same position. Sweetness is what I'm going with. I'm going to try to ultimately go around the left side and down the left sideline. That juke that I just did there was lucky, but it works, like you see. And again... That might work one in five times. Uh, we'll do the other knockout. Knockout. I have that the right running back is the, the fast one. We're still going to go left. There's more room over there. And you see that I held it too long, and rather than tossing it to him, it tried to pass it to him, which results in a failure. So I need to hand it off more quickly. I don't have a lot of experience on this page. Um, up to page six, I've done the plays a lot. 
Actually, he's pretty quick. Maybe my notes are wrong. Let me change that real quick. So we should be able to do a quarterback sneak here and get in. Hopefully. Yes. So now all the plays that are left on this page are critical. We'll try Tidal Wave. I had to do exactly that in my notes, and that's what worked. Drop, run left, pass to running back. So I think we've solved the riddle on that one. So I need two more, two more plays in order to advance. For left jab, I have run left, quick give to running back on right, and then run right. So... You know. He's slow. That is not the fast running back. We're going to try that again. We're going to try giving... Oh, we're not going to try anything else. It's game over. So that's it. That's a uh, little bit longer than I planned on running. But um, I hope you can kind of see if you're curious about what this game is or what this achievement is. Um, I'd like to think that through attrition, I can maybe figure out the way to approach different plays that give you uh, success, you know, in an increased amount, and uh, and maybe piece a run together that that gets all the way to the end. Um, I can't even imagine what pages eight, nine, and ten are on. I think I've been to page eight a few times, maybe. I don't remember though. Not certainly not in the last two weeks while I've been working on this again, but. Um, few years ago I worked on it. I don't have any notes on page 8 though, so I don't know if I made it then either or ever. Uh, but that's it. That's Cyberball 2072 Super Breaker. Uh, this game isn't even available anymore. It's been delisted for years and years. Um, it shows one completion on true achievements. I'm skeptical about that, but what are you going to do? Anyway, yeah, good luck. <laughs>